So, hey guys, and welcome back to D4 Takedown Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at two of the trials. If you just give me a moment, we'll go and check them out. I'm just checking over me bits and bobs. So, we're going to be looking over one trial of nature, and hopefully if we have time, I'm going to add on the trial of frost. So, let's have a quick look at the trial of nature, shall we? And to be fair, guys, I have to say, I've become a little addicted to this uh, bounty hunter class. It is so much fun. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you all are, you are all okay today. Um, have you been up to much or anything now? I've had a pretty boring day myself, so... Here we are doing one of these episodes instead. And I always get stuck on that stupid compass. Mm. Oh. But yeah, I've been working on a few of the skills, and I will be putting one out there of just the skills. I'll be going through all three of the classes, and we'll be talking about pretty much every one of the skills, um, from level 1 to the difference to level 10. Um, so you can see the general differences between which ones, and you can make a more informed decision on your build and your class. Um, I'm just thinking of how it would help. So at the immediate moment, I'm trying to level up all my skills and get these guys up to the right levels in order to actually do what I need to do. Come on, what's taking so long? <sighs> we may have some lag on this episode, I'm afraid to say, guys. Oh, here we go, finally. Yay! Whoop, whoop. I love that noise. Whoop, whoop. So here we are in the Trial of Nature, and as you could have guessed already, it's a nature-based um, scenery. Um, the boss usually switches between Morgoth and the big-ass dragon guy from the Episode 1s. Uh, sorry, Act 1, not Episode 1, my apologies. Oh, as I predicted, lag. Not good. Not good at all. But later on it should pick up the speed and we shouldn't have too much of an issue. As always, the general point of the trials is to complete them within the said time limit. I use them purely to level up. Also, something I've learned about the EXP thing, guys. Once you've completed the game on normal mode, you're meant to be able to increase each level's, each level's monster levels up by at least 10 levels, which will help also increase your experience amount. I thought that might be a little bit of interesting information that you guys could use. Um, I've not really found out much else at this immediate moment. I am still diving into everything I can find about this game to give you guys as much information as possible to keep you guys rolling on the right track. <clears throat> Yeah, it's taking. I'm, I'm starting to slow down a little. I need to build some new EXP gear. And um, if you guys comment below, I will show how to do the basic EXP gear, how much experience on average you're looking at through the level rates, that sort of stuff. At this immediate moment, I'm only working with around 20% increase on my experience. It's doing pretty good, I have to say. It's it's. Well, it took me three or four days to get to level 25, and that was about three hours of game in a day on my warrior class. However, it took me about two days uh, with about the same amount of time to get to level 19. So you can see there is a reasonable increase. And the higher up level you go, the better equipment you can pick up for one and craft for two. So... Always, always an idea, people, to look into being very specific in the equipment that you want. You may want to invest in getting a little extra storage so you can store the extra sets of equipment. Because obviously you're going to want an attack set, and you're going to want an EXP set. You can also, if you're a little short on funds like I am, invest in an um, gold increase. Personally, don't see the point. I understand why it's there. I just put the grind in. I don't see any harm in putting a little bit of grind in. Get what you want. Get what you're after. Problem solved. I love that weapon. Oh. Sorry, my weapon gives um, 
Well, as you can see, that lightning effect, and it links. As long as the enemies are close enough, it'll link through quite a few, which I really, really enjoy. It grabs their attention. I don't have to move it. It draws them into you, which is always, always fun, guys. But as you can see, the general idea of this place is go around the edge of the maps. As you can see, it is the nat trial of nature here, so that's what we're working with, and it is a nature-based. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess the frost one as well. Again, I'm mainly doing this so you guys can see the general area and what sort of level mobs you're looking at, how difficult it is, that sort of stuff. You know, I know it's probably not the most helpful of things, but to be fair, every little does help in these sorts of things. They really, really do. I'm going to use their skill, the multi-shot. Why not? I don't often use the multi-shot, to be fair, guys, I don't. It's not my style. Then again, I'm using a bounty hunter that has dual weapons. Irony! I'm just screwing with you guys. I honestly don't even know if I'll be able to beat the boss, to be fair. I know I'm a level 19, but again, the defense of the bounty hunter isn't the best. Hence the reason why it's a freaking ranged character as well as your mage and mage again. Really bad defense. But this guy has something the mage does not have. And that's incredible damage. I mean, I, I shit you not, this thing has damage that not even the warrior can grasp now. And I love that attack. Heat Seeker. Level 5 at the moment, I am really curious to what it's going to be at level, level uh, 10. Oh yeah. My warrior hit his first level 10 skill today, so again, keep an eye out. I'm not sure what I'll call the episode yet, I will inform you guys once I've decided on the name so you guys can keep an eye out for it. Um, but yeah, I'll be going through each of the skills. I will be unlocking a fourth character slot, so I can use a noob. i show you the level 1s all the way through, and I can also show you the level 10s on the other side of it, all the way through. Oh, I've got a good idea for it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be interesting. You guys can see the damage difference, that sort of stuff, yeah? And of course, uh, if I figure anything else out, or if you guys specifically ask for anything about this game you want to know, drop a comment, I will happily inform you, I will go off, I will learn exactly what you're after, I will figure it out. And I'll pop a video up of it. As you can see, when Snowwall asked me the following day, wasn't an issue. I uploaded the uh, Bounty Hunters skills and build. And again, it's quite accurate information, people. Just to be fair, I think it's accurate information. Or at least from what I could figure. It was very accurate information. I think it was the best sort of ideas at earlier levels. Again, I've got to get to the higher levels before I can confirm. But this immediate moment, at this level basis, the advice I gave was, was pretty slam on. You know, I have to say, I, I think I did a really, really good job. It took a lot of effort. But again, it's worth it. Because you guys are getting something out of it, you're, you're finding these helpful hints, and you're able to get a lot better at... Ow. Um, how to put it? Basically, you get better gameplay, and then that sort of stuff out of it, basically, once you learn a few little basics, like these bits and bobs, like, oh yeah, of course, that makes sense, why didn't I think of that? Makes things easier, makes it more enjoyable. I'm just prattling on now. Because I did this one a short while ago, to be fair, and I had some difficulties, but at the moment it doesn't seem too hard, so to speak. But it all changes when that freaking bastard. There he is, I knew he was coming. Alright, guys, this is pretty much the end of the level here. I'll make sure I'm still fully equipped to kick his ass. Oh, where are you going? Uh, brought your friends out, did you? That ain't gonna help you. Okay, that might help you. Come on. 
Keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking stuff. I don't care what you're attacking, just attack, 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 attack. Come on, kill it, 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 kill it. What the crap is happening? I'm dragging loads of other people and cr- ah, fuck it. That's all I can do. Attack. Just keep attacking. Hey, I might actually complete this one in time for once, huh? If I frickin' survive. Again, the reason why I love Heat Seeker. See that then? All those little draggalings? Gone. One shot. Now, come on, let's kick his ass. Come on, let's kick his ass. You've got it, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Get you! Oh. If you complete it within time, you get much, much better equipment. Just so you guys know. Alright, we'll be right back in a second to do the Trial of Frost. So we'll see you guys in a moment. Hello, and so we are going to do now the Trial of the Frost. Once it decides to load, we must wait. Ah, I'm just screwing with you, I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we just did the trial of nature, and I must say, you know, it, it's exactly as, 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 exactly as expected. Yeah. I hate that compass. <sighs> Every time, stop. So, and we beat the dragon, and I was kind of impressed. I, I got a lovely piece of equipment. It was um, a rare, I believe. No, it wasn't. It was an epic. Of course, then there's legendary. Of course, it was an epic. Um, and it's now gone into my gold set. Um, I'm, I've got, as I was saying in the previous part, I've got different section, different pieces of equipment. Sorry. Um each doing something individual. One experience, one is my main attack set, which I gave the advice for. The other is a gold set to increase either my gold income, my EXP rate, or whatever else I may need. Again, you need some storage to be able to do it though, unfortunately. I'm currently working towards trying to get my next set of storage. So I've actually got enough room to put this gold set into. Because it's um, taking up a lot of room. Then again, so me gems. Don't forget, guys, to fuse your gems together. Once you have three of any one type of gem, you can fuse them together to create a stronger version. And you can do this on a number of times. Um, just so you guys know. I thought it was interesting because it's something I recently picked up on and I have been doing again with my cooldown reductions. I also have currently got equipped to this character, his attack speed increase, and it's actually working out quite well. I did have the uh, precision ammo on, uh, with the rebound shot, sorry guys, I should have explained. Um, and that was, uh, I liked it, it's, it's got a good effect, but since then I think the increased speed is actually doing a lot more good than the rebound shot. So you're able to get your shots off quicker, you're able to get your shots off quicker, you're able to do more damage, you're able to do more damage, you can kill quicker. Ouch. I ain't finished with you guys. I was popping a potion. You're next. Now well, we're about halfway through level 19, I'm hoping to get near to level 20 so I can start on the next skill. Um, but I won't be finishing it tonight until I've at least got started on the next skill and got up to about level 3 or level 4. Won't take too long. Just a bit of effort, guys, that's all. So as you can see, I am progressing um, everywhere I need to go and um, everything I need to do. It's, it's, it's coming along. It should only take me another... Hmm, three days, maybe, to get all these skills done. Maybe four, because it takes three days to do that. Unless, of course, I use some gems, but I don't advise that. 
don't advise using gems to increase your skills. But then again, exceptions must be made at times, especially for a level 10 when it takes like 3 or 4 days. Oh, that's so fun waiting around 3 or 4 days for a single skill. I've just done it with my warrior class. <sighs> Pain in my ass. Because all you're doing is twiddling your freaking thumbs. That's all you can do. It's a level 10 for Christ's sake, but it's well worth the wait. There's like 300 plus uh, weapon damage. So yeah. And it's the attack, by the way, the, the the first basic attack that you actually claim. Let's get rid of these idiots. Again, one of the skills I cannot wait to see leveled up is that Heat Seeker right there. It really is a lifesaver. It, it saved my ass so many times, I can't even believe it. Hopefully we'll be able to slam through this, get the boss up, be able to get a little bit more decent equipment, a couple more gems. I'll be happy with that. And you guys could be a bit more well informed on these levels. Because again, this is the Trail of Frost and as we, well, you should have guessed. Ice, snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start to see a pan. But again... We'll see what happens. We have 5 minutes, 40-ish seconds now, well, under, but still. I'm um, just not getting any experience anymore. I really do need to get a new server EXP kit, don't I? I'll invest. I will. I'll get to it. I'll make it. Bit forging, guys. Um... Relatively simple once you know what you're actually doing. Until then, it, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, I will admit. And again, guys, comment below if you would like to see an episode about the forging. Uh, how it works, what best ways to do it, that sort of stuff. Happy to do that for you, but personally, I don't know if you guys would have any interest in that sort of stuff. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't, I don't know. Hey, after the uh, trials, maybe I'll just do it anyways, if you guys haven't mentioned anything. So if you're willing to wait another, hmm, I don't know, what, a week, week or two? Week, week and a half, week and a half, I, I think week and a half's fair. We'll go from there, yeah? And, um, yeah. Sorry. Just taking the neck. I, I thought, why not? There's no harm in it, is there? Taking the wee wee out of your own character, shooting some pea shooters. That oddly enough fires multiple, multiple shots. Oh. You guys actually might level up. I'm hoping so. I'll be really, really happy if I'm able to level up. Until then, I'm just going to kick these guys' ass. Yeah, you go get the healer. I'm gonna bomb the crap out of him. With my favorite skill of all time so far. Heat Seeker. Another skill I'm waiting to, I cannot wait to get hold of, but I can't do it until much, much later levels. It's the multi-shot. That sounds just, oh, it's so fun to me. It really does. Ah, crap, these guys are really coming for me now. Don't lag, don't need lag. Oh! Well, let's hook a few of them out. Let's go this way then. I'm presuming I was getting close to these guys either way, so. Launch a heat seeker. Follow up with rapid fire. Hell of a combo, guys. Really, really is. Hell of a combo. As long as you can pull it off. Let's go with a nice shot, yeah. Let's have a little archer's multi shot, not ours. We we don't have multi shot yet. 
I don't think they trust us with it. I know I wouldn't. Okay, we got two minutes eight. That dude used to mullet shot nasty bastards. We've got two minutes left to kill whatever the hell we can find, basically. Go after them, go after them, go after them. Yeah. Go your number. Okay, back down this way. We'll just keep on killing them, guys. Not sure if we're gonna be able to make it this time, guys. Oh, that's just not fair. That was a waste of a freaking shot. Come on, there he is. One minute to kill this f fucked up dragon. Yep. Oh, you're a piss taking. Get you out. Outright telling you now. Come on. Come on. Oh, and here comes his dragon buddies. Don't stand around, shoot him! Right, grand. All together now. Perfect. And we'll follow the mush shot. And we'll follow the rapid fire. 31 seconds. Seconds, come on. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Fire! Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. No, don't do that, do that. Come on, get him! Got him! Ah, with, with five seconds to spare. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the Trial of Frost, number five. It might be number six, actually. Ho ho! That was number five, wasn't it? Yeah, number five, I was right. So, I hope you liked the show. Um, That was a little dicey there at the end, but we got through it. Yes! Um, Don't forget to like and drop some comments below about the stuff that we've talked about today. By all means, I'd be more than happy to know what you guys were looking for. And I will happily do it for you. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue on my track. And I'll probably cover it eventually myself. Um, so, yeah. Don't forget to take care of yourselves. And if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button just down there. So you can get the next episode. And we can stay in touch. Until next time. <clears throat> until the next show. Take care of yourselves. Up in D4 Takedown on D4 Takedown Gaming. Bye.